In this six-month marathon known as the Major League Baseball season, the Yankees have sprinted out of the gate. They are 14-6, the best record in the American League. They have the most home runs in baseball, 29. The best ERA in the American League, 2.84. And they are currently on a seven-game winning streak. Can the Yankees keep that up as we head into May? We'll find out tonight as the Yankees play the second game of their three-game set against the Kansas City Royals. Garrett Cole got the start for the Bronx Bombers today, and it couldn't have started any better. A nine-pitch, one-two-three, first inning. Top of the second, Glaber Torres continues to swing a hot bat. Eight for his last 22. Then after an Aaron Hicks walk, Joey Gallo with a sharp single into a right to load the bases. And then IKF. Even when he doesn't get a hit, he still contributes. Grounds into a double play. One run scores. Yankees strike first in Kansas City. Bottom of the second starts off a little rough with IKF booting this ball and ending the Yankees 13 game errorless streak. But they get out of the inning thanks to another superb performance from Cole. Top of the third, two walks and a Giancarlo Stanton single in the center. Once again, load the bases up for the Yankees. And this time it's Glaber Torres who gets the run home without getting a hit. A sack fly into center, scores home the run. Yankees now up two to nothing. Top of the fourth, Aaron Hicks walks, no surprise. That leads to Joey Gallo with an infield single that the Royals cannot come up with. Hicks moves all the way to third, and that leads to IKF once again getting a run home without a hit. Hits are overrated. What you need is runs. Yankees take a 3-0 lead here in the fourth. Fifth and sixth inning, Garrett Cole wrapped up yet another great start and his second straight shutout after the disaster in Detroit. His final line, six innings, five hits, no runs, two walks, six strikeouts, on 91 pitches, and his ERA is now back down to three. Seventh inning had Miguel Castro throwing a crazy 93 mile an hour changeup, and Anthony Rizzo with an insane double play. He is fast becoming one of my favorite Yankees. And then in the eighth inning, Clay Holmes shuts it down for the Bronx Bombers there. That's eight wins in a row for the Yankees. Hit it, DJ Khaled. All I do is win. That's all they do, folks. They just keep winning. And even though tonight wasn't a explosive offensive performance that we've seen on the level of the last few days and most of this winning streak, we can't expect that every night. Most of these wins are going to have to come like this. And thankfully tonight, the offense making just the right amount of plays. No hits. No runs on hits, which I found crazy. Uh, we did get a couple of great offensive performances tonight from Glaber Torres, who had two hits, Hicks, who had two hits, and Joey Gallo, uh, who had two hits, bumping his average up to a cool 180. And then you had uh, Stanton uh, with a hit as well in this game. And then what really carried this game was the pitching. And you know what? Maybe we all jumped off of the Garrett Cole bandwagon a little too early. He was awesome tonight. And he's been great the last two games. He's really, he's really delivered. Here in the last two games, he's pitched well. Looks like he took all that to heart, and he's been, he's been pitching really solid. I mean, in the last game against Cleveland, six and two-thirds, four hits, no runs, nine strikeouts. And then tonight, pretty similar performance. And then we had another excellent bullpen uh, tonight. It's amazing. It's amazing the team keeps winning. And yes, again, before you jump on me, I know it's bad teams. That's what a good team is supposed to do. And I said that yesterday, but that's what a good team is supposed to do. Beat bad teams. And so if that is the case, if the Yankees keep this up here, keep beating the bad teams then we'll be just fine. But And hopefully, again, we don't need huge offensive explosions. We need, if the pitcher can keep performing this excellent from the starting and the pit and the bullpen, and then the offense doesn't, if the offense just does a little, if they do, they don't even need to do a lot. They just need to do just a little bit in each game. We will be just fine. And so the Yankees are now 15 and six. Right now, the Mets are losing. I think the Yankees would have the best average um, the best winning percentage in baseball, but I'm not 100% sure. But crazy right now, it's the Yankees and Mets, 1-2. And it's been a wild ride for both of these teams, seeing how, how, how uh, incredible both of these starts have been. So let's hope we keep it up. But it's another series win, and now we have a chance for Broomy to come back out tomorrow. Although I do have to point out, one mistake was, uh, one sad thing was Joey Gallo um, taken out of this game. We haven't had a lot of injuries, so I guess it's fine that we finally have one. It was bound to happen. Um, left groin tightness, hopefully it's just a small thing, and he'll be back uh, soon. That's it for now, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, make sure you subscribe down below. I'll be back tomorrow to break down the final Yankees-Royals game. Take care and God bless.